This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, so when talking about avocado, you might think it's gonna go well with avocado toast, avocado salad, or avocado with salsa, right? So it's savory and it's served with salty food. But in Vietnam, we serve it as dessert, like avocado smoothie or avocado ice cream. So in this video, I'm gonna take you to one of the famous shops that sell avocado ice cream in Da Nang. And before we go, as usual, if you want to learn more about Vietnamese culture, food, and travels, don't forget to follow my channel, What the Fall, and my social media at Van Bu from Vietnam. And if you want to support my channel, go check out my merch at whatthefallvn.com. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm at Bak Mi An Market right now and as you guys can see, it is super busy here. When you walk from the entrance, you can see the first section is like they're selling clothing and other accessories. And when you come in, just go straight and Govan Avocado Ice Cream is right behind me right here. And behind the food section, you can see the wet market. And in there, people sell fresh meat and fish, seafood, etc. And they only sell it in the day, so it's very, very fresh. It's very convenient, right? People can shop over there and make food here. But before trying the ice cream, I'm gonna have breakfast first. We're gonna go straight to have mi gua and it's one of the most must-try dishes in Da Nang. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Cô bán đây lâu chưa? Lâu rồi. À, đấy ạ. <laughs> okay, so I have mi guang right here. It's a traditional food originated from Quang Nam province in Vietnam. In here, I have a very, very nice combination of noodles, peanuts, uh, pork, onions, and quail eggs. And now, let's just try it. First of all, you gotta mix it up real well. Okay, so the noodles look like pho noodles, but they're actually thicker and wider. The quail legs are so cute right here. And I'm going to... Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it! Oh, my God, this is going to be so spicy. Okay, but we'll try. Uh, it's so good, guys. Mm. It's not too spicy at all. It just adds the sweetness in it, which is fine. Like, I love sweet stuff. Ở đây là mình bán từ mấy giờ đến mấy giờ hả cô? À, thế ạ. Giờ trưa này chắc là đông. Vâng. Vâng, đúng rồi. Nên phải đi sớm, con phải đi sớm để quay. I just love it when they have a lot of veggies in the noodles because it's crunchy, it's very fresh, and it mixes very very well with the softness of the noodles and the beef, mm -hmm. uh, I mean the pork. <laughs> She's just sitting with me, keep me company. <laughs> it is so tasty guys. Okay, so finally I understand why people put a lot of veggies in the noodle dish because the veggies will help balance out uh, the fatty flavor from the fat and the peanuts uh, from the noodle dish. Actually, I rarely eat um, the fat part of the meat, but I have to say, when you mix it very well and you eat it with other ingredients, you can't really taste the fatty part. And actually, the peanuts and the fatty makes it very, very unique. Oh my god, it is so cheap, guys. It's only 25,000 Vietnam dong. And I'm full right now, but I'm ready to eat the avocado ice cream. 
All right, let's go over there. But before we go, let me shout out to our sponsor today, Squarespace. Squarespace has uniquely awesome templates to build your online presence. If you want to be a blogger or have your own e-commerce store, you can easily do it on Squarespace because they have all the essential tools for you, such as email marketing, analytics, and even scheduling. What I love the most about Squarespace is that they have webinars and forums to teach new people how to use Squarespace and connect with the community. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com/whatthefall to save 10% off the first purchase of your website or domain. Game này là nhà mình tự làm hả chị? Bơ thì mình cũng thử làm luôn À thế ạ Ủa chị ơi, Vân Vân là mẹ chị hả hay là ai? Mẹ chồng hả chị? À thế ạ Em cũng tên là Vân này <cười> Cái này là bỏ muối vào nữa xong rồi để vào hộp sốt đúng không? Là để được trong vòng bao lâu nhỉ? 24 tiếng chị 24 tiếng hả? Oh, they're gonna put ice and salt in here to keep it cold and then they're gonna ship it to Hanoi Wow, it's very famous here Ủa, một ngày là chị bán được bao nhiêu cốc thế này ạ? Một nghìn ly luôn tôi Một nghìn ly luôn, wow Chắc là mùa hè còn phải nhiều hơn đúng không chị? Rồi. Rồi, em xin. <laughs> okay, so after getting in line and waiting for like 10 minutes, I finally have my avocado ice cream here. My first impression was that I really like the color, green and white, and with the shredded fried coconut. So if you have never tried the toasted shredded coconut, you should because I feel like it's the best chips in the world. It mixes very well with all the dessert in Vietnam, to be honest. And it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's just perfect. You should try it when you come to Vietnam, okay? And we usually have it with kem soy, uh, the steamed rice with ice cream, and on top of it with this, and cha, we eat it with the toasted coconut as well. And here, they have toasted coconut, and she gave me extra because I just love it so much. Let's just mix it and then see. It looks very creamy. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, okay. Now I understand why it is such a famous place. And usually, you have to get in line. There's no seat here for you to sit at around like four or five, which is the rush hour. Ah, four hours mới đông. Ah, <laughs> and yeah, people can sit over here, here, or like up front. The avocado is sweet and smooth. The ice cream is very creamy, mixes very well with the crunchy texture of the toasted coconut. So in here, they not only sell the avocado ice cream, but also they sell other cha, uh, such as jackfruit, durian cha. I can smell the durian from here actually. Yeah, and then with a bunch of jellies and other toppings as well. And it's super, super affordable here. She just said like with uh, 100,000 Vietnam dough, which is like $5, you can be full for the whole day because there are a wide variety of street food here that you can explore. And to be honest, I'm not gonna pick and choose what's the best restaurant here because I feel like they're equally good. And when you come to a new country, the best part of exploring is to explore the street food, right? So if you want to try hot food, you can try bánh canh, mì quảng, bún bò Huế, etc. So if you are an ice cream lover, you can try this avocado ice cream because it is so unique and very refreshing. Now I gotta go to the coconut forest in Hoi An, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified for that video. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can buy my merch, the fur shirt, 
on my website whatthefuckvm.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to share to your family members or your friends if they plan on coming to Vietnam soon. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.